everybody. Today, we are taking this guy to get some training. He's gonna be a good boy it's, after today. Yep, it's day one of puppy boot camp, and I wanted to, I don't know if I can film in there, probably not, um, but that's where we're headed, so we're gonna do a little day bringing you guys along with us, so. Yeah. Here he is before. We're gonna teach him, we're gonna teach him the basics. Sit. Let him see the treat. So the treat is what guides him up there. <laughs> Here, try a couple of these. These are maybe a little more fragrant. Um, anytime during the class that you feel that you're kind of losing control, make sure Go that you try to do that. Did the dog training and it went well really well i feel like we're gonna learn a lot in this class and i really like the trainer a lot she seems to really know how to do positive reinforcement with these guys and uh they already we already see some good response so now we are heading out we're gonna go to the store get some dog treats get a leash part of the training was like uh if he jumps or if he does um, like biting at my sleeve, which he does all the time, biting at everybody's sleeve, uh, then you are supposed to tell him no if he doesn't listen or if you tell him to get leave it. If he doesn't listen, then you would put him on a 30 second timeout <laughs> on a leash in the house. She said that um, they really don't like being separated from everybody when everyone else is having a good time and then they have to be, you know, in their little 30 second timeout. So she said it typically corrects their behavior after like two or three times. And uh, yeah, so we'll see. Yeah, and you don't have to yell or anything. Like you just say, you do your little clap and say, leave it. And if he doesn't, then timeout. And they say, okay, you're going on timeout or whatever, you know, your words are. Yeah, so we are gonna go get treats. We're gonna go do that. And then we're gonna go visit the store for some steel. So you wanna get some steel? The reason we're making this video today is because we wanted to bring you guys more along with our lives instead of just showing you the homestead projects that we do which aren't as often as we wish they would be you know with a two-year-old yeah and the, it, especially in the winter yeah so we thought we would do a little bit more like bringing you along with our days and our lives this is not a typical day for us but this is a day so typically <laughs> we wouldn't do any of the stuff that we've done today. Typically um, we don't have a day. Yeah, typically we're just at home playing with the kiddo and um, trying to feel like we have it all together. We don't. So we are... I do. Oh yeah, you do. You have it together? Perfect. <laughs> right now we have childcare. My friend Kat actually comes over and watches our son a couple days a week for us. And today it was perfect because I had therapy this morning at nine and then we went immediately after and took Benny to dog training. It was his first ever dog training and it was so good. It went really well. We feel really positive about it because the lady's just great and yeah. she teaches positive reinforcement, which is really good. So we love him so much and he's a pretty good guy. He's but really good. He's having, a sweetheart. Having a puppy and a toddler is not for the weak willed. I'll tell you that much right now. Mm -hmm. Um, and our son is amazing too. It's just that, you know, it's great that we have this break today to recharge ourselves because I've actually been talking about this on my Instagram stories. If you guys follow me personally on mine, I've been talking about just that parenthood is really difficult. And a lot of people talk about that online and a lot of people agree, but it's like a considered a taboo thing. Cause as soon as you say that people are like, oh my God, enough, everything's so negative. I mean, it's just like one of those things where you when you're not in it or you've never been a parent or whatever like it's really hard to like identify with that person or know 
what they're talking about until you're in it and then you're like oh my god well especially yeah, when right. I was struggling with infertility when I would hear people complain about it I was like you could only be so lucky as to to have a child and I still agree like having a I love my son more than anything in this entire world but like parenthood is I mean yeah you can training. be you can be lucky but still have like stress and anxiety yeah things can be two things like I can love him yeah. with my whole entire being I would do anything for him and he is my world and parenting is also like the most exhausting mentally depleting oh, and draining that? draining thing ever so um Anyway, the reason that I'm saying that is because we finally get a break today and it's so nice. So we are going to go, so we just did like all of the things we need to do today. And now we're going to go and eat lunch together at a Korean barbecue. Yeah, we're going to do a little Korean barbecue, cook our own, grill our own foods. We're both trying to be low carb. I uh, had a little meltdown situation of my own. And uh, I'm an emotional eater, so last night I ate like so many gummy bears. I just, <laughs> I gave up. I was like, you know what? New year, f you. <laughs> no, I'm back. Um, my attitude shifted. Feels good to get the dog uh, training going and like the positive. Like she's like the dog trainer is like a positive reinforcement, and like that's what I need because I feel myself only going towards the negative and wanting to be like no you know and like i get i don't like being like that i don't like yelling i don't like being negative and the more i do it the more i feel myself like sliding into that like groove that rut of like always going to a negative spot and always wanting to snap even when it's like not a thing and i don't want to be like that especially with a dog that i wanted you know, I'm the one who like basically begged Christy for him and <laughs> I feel myself like starting to go that way. So this was a really good change up and really uh, shifted my, my mindset on it. And I Me feel too. Like, I feel positive about it and I feel like it's very um, approachable and doable. So I feel the same way. I feel like it's really good. We needed to get he, out of this. I mean, this. he responded like instantly to her. Like she knows dogs. It's crazy. Like It's crazy so, that a dog trainer knows dogs. Yeah. <laughs> crazy, right? <laughs> I said we were going to Korean barbecue. Closed. Um, and then, so we were like, well, we'll just get egg bites from Starbucks and some coffee because we really wanted a good coffee. So I ordered a triple shot Americano with extra cream. And uh, they gave me a black coffee, which I didn't realize until we left.
Hi, we forgot to close out the video as usual, but I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate you guys being here so much, and I hope you guys like seeing a little bit of a glimpse into our day. We don't have a super structured life. We wish we did a little bit more, um, but as of now, we're just doing what we can when we can, and uh, we thought we'd bring you guys along. If you guys like these style of videos, a little more vlog style coming along with us, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you at our next video, which should be very soon. Bye.